Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I will be talking about the state of Clash of Lords 2 as a game. So the state of the game. You see these videos a lot on a lot of channels really. Um, a lot of gaming channels and stuff I watch for other games. I see sometimes on the odd occasion, later on into the games, usually a few years into it. They bring a video, the state of the game. Not for I haven't actually seen any of Clash Wars 2, or at least not for a good while. So I thought why not make a video on the state of Clash Wars 2. So what is the state of Clash Wars 2? Well, I wouldn't want to do a scale of 1 to 10. Because I don't think it would be a high number. If the game has been going for at least... Seven to eight years now. If you count Clash Wars 1, you're looking at eight to nine years. And that is a lot of time. In my opinion, if they need a Clash of Lords 3, not entirely because Clash Wars 2 is like dead, but because I think Clash Wars 3, just giving it that name Clash Wars 3, it might get a lot of people return just because they think, oh, it's a new Clash Wars 2. Just to boost the amount of players. But if I'm honest with you guys, the updates which they bring out, they're not awful. The problem is they don't bring out updates that we want to see. So there's new hero costumes, new equipment on the other occasion, a couple of new glyphs, new base design, new hero every three or four months. That's it. Oh yeah, and a new pass, which is pay to play. So if you look at it that way, maybe bounce optimizations for enchantment skills, or little little differences in skills. But that's it. Now that's all good. The game needs that. But is that really gonna make you want to keep on playing the game, especially if you've been playing since the start? To so say you've been playing the game for seven or eight years, like me. Is that going to make you want to carry on playing Clash Wars 2? That isn't what you're looking for. What you're looking for is new game modes, lots of big new features, big new features. But in my opinion, that isn't what I personally am looking for. I don't want more new game modes because I feel like they do all right with new game modes. If I think personally they've got too many. That isn't what I want. I don't want new game modes. I want them to expand on what they've already got. I want them to look over the game as they currently got and make them better. For example, I know I mentioned this one a lot, the solo campaign. This was good at the start of the game, within the first year, but I'd say 2015, solo campaign was no longer a challenge. It was more that thing that you complete within a day, don't matter what level your hero is, you just complete it within a day and then you just auto clear every day just to get them um, drinks to get your resources. And that's all it is now, it's been like that for about six years. <coughs> and that's why I think Solo Campaign is the number one game mode that needs improved. I say take it up to 2,000 levels. Now these first 110 levels, <coughs> losing my voice here guys, don't know why. I mean, I mean, really even made any videos, only created one voice. But these 110 levels, I'm saying keep them the same, yeah? Even the next level don't make it that much harder than 1 to 10. But if you take it up to 2,000 levels, you can gradually make it harder as you go along. So our gradual process of it getting harder. Hit level 500, perhaps you start versing enlightened heroes. Hit level 1,200, maybe you start versing max enlightened heroes. Hit levels like 1,800, you're not just versing Max Knight and Heroes, you're versing like Max Knight and Heroes like Chrono Keeper and Shooting Star and stuff. Like, it's gradually make it harder as you go along. That way it would keep it a challenge, but it would also make it long term. 
Whereas you feel like you got a name, you're working on your stuff so you can complete the campaign. I want it to be long term. I don't want to be something that just gives you, oh yeah man, it's really good, yeah, yeah. Two weeks later, you're bored of it. No, you want something to be like a challenge. So that's the reason why I campa want a campaign like that. Lord's League. I feel like Lord's League is still alright. Maybe increase the rewards. Make the rewards better for Lord's League. That would be my opinion on it. Also, maybe make it look more important visually. The user interface of it. Um, I personally think there's too many game modes and ones with you, so... I would also possibly make Campaign Clash much bigger. Much bigger, I would. Like, this tiny right now. I'd make, um, once again, go up to about 2,000 dungeons. I'll have a lot of dungeons, make models go along. I would make it basically a second campaign. I think campaigns are a key part of it. It is campaign class, isn't it? So, I think campaigns are key parts of games. In my opinion, campaigns are what really creates excitement in the game. So, I think we need much better campaigns. It's the campaigns that he's working on, in my opinion. Guild Clash, I feel like they should make it more important. Lord Olympia Games has kind of defeated the purpose of Guild Clash and took away how good it is in a way really. So I kind of want Guild Clash improved. I don't know how I want it improved but I know I want it improved. And that's my opinion on that one. And the heroes, I personally think the heroes are fine. I think keep the heroes as they are. But if I was to do something with them, maybe sort out the rarities. Change the rarities of heroes. I can't see how changing heroes' rarities would make a difference in the gameplay. Because a lot of time you don't want to touch stuff because it would mess it up. Players and player players get angry. Let's say they went and put Genie as a good hero. That wouldn't make any difference to me. As, because the rarities would be changed. You change your meaning. The rarity doesn't actually make a difference to the hero. You just know that D3 rarities haven't been good for about 8 years. <laughs> They've been awful. They're not heroes that you want. So just get rid of all them heroes, maybe. In my opinion, yeah. If I if it was me, and I had to do a creative, I would all of a sudden, just to wind everyone up, I'd grab all these rare heroes, good heroes and normal heroes, and I'd bring them up to be as good as the epic heroes. Like, yeah. Right now, I would make... Which one was it? Mm. Yeah, Headhunter. I would make Headhunter better than Chronic either. Oh, come on. You tell me. If they made Headhunter better than Chronic Keeper, would anyone complain? I generally don't think it would get as much criticism as a lot of people think. I think some people would absolutely love it if they made End of Hunter better than Quantum Keeper. Is it all of a sudden be like, whoa, that's a big change. But that's the kind of change that makes the game more exciting. That's that excitement to the game. So maybe do stuff like that. <laughs> really, what I mean is, they need to think more outside the box whenever it comes to the updates. If they think more outside the box, I think they will get better updates. So um, basically, IGG, if you want to think more outside the box of the updates and bring out better updates, watch my videos. I've got plenty of ideas, I'm full of them. So I think my ideas are good. I'm sure other people have other ideas, and I think that they should also be looking at them kind of ideas, bringing them all together, and think about how they're going to move forward. We're going to move forward with the updates, that's my opinion on it. Um, another thing I would do is not add any more complication. Just, at the moment, it's very complicated. Enlightenment, evolution, talents, basic skills, equipment, mercenary. Mercenary needs to be improved. Enchantment, glyphs, masteries. <laughs> Please IGG, do not add another, do not add another thing. I couldn't even think of another thing that they would add, but I'm sure they could. <laughs> so please don't add another thing. 
too much air already. We don't need stuff like that. We need the current content improved. So whenever I'm looking at this, I'm going, don't bring out new stuff. Improve what you've already got. What you've already got is exactly what we want. It just is expanded on. Expand on what there is. Bring it up to date. Make it good. Battle Royale is the only thing, in my opinion, which is truly up to date. Because they always improve it to the right difficulty as they go along. I think, in my opinion, Battle Royale is the only thing which is truly exactly what it should be right now. Um, so, if I had to put it on a scale of 1 to 10, the game, and its current state, I'd put it on a 3. Because it's not awful, but it, it needs a lot of improvements, and it's very inactive. The number one thing they need to do for all that, all the updates, everything, they have to get the basic out of there. Make a global server, merge all the servers together to make it active and all under one player base. In order, need all the players under one player base. That is the number one thing to do. Then move forward to expand on what you've already got in the game improve stuff instead of bringing out new stuff and updates so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to let me know your opinions and i'll see you guys in the next video for now peace out